Hello. My name is John. I thought I'd show you my GL 1100. This is a 1980 uh, GL 1100 Go Wing standard with a Vetter bearing, LED headlight. Um, there's a piece of junk when I got it. I've got it. I've had it about five years, and it's got 165,000 miles on it. I tried to make this video a minute ago, and then I ran out of phone space. At 152,000, I put crankshaft bearings in it. Long story how it got like that. And uh, had electric fuel pump on it when I got it. And so the cam was broke off. But I had to replace all that. And um, actually I put another head on it and another valve on the other side. Somebody had put the timing belts on wrong and tore the engine up. And so I put the electric fuel pump back on it because I kind of like it. And, um, but I put a safety switch on it, an oil pressure safety switch. So if the engine's not running, don't pump fuel. But I've been all through this bike. Uh, rebuild carbs, a new stator, and rectifier, new clutch. I put another clutch in it. Not because anything was wrong with the old clutch, but I had the engine down and I was just surfing on eBay and I seen a new clutch for 20 bucks, so I put it in there. I kept the old clutch up. And um, this little this is a standard uh, gold wing luggage rack. I just cut the lugs and all off of it where the bags mount, and then I drew some holes in it and took some little small U bolts and took a piece of them. Um, piece of bar, a heat bin that I, I cool bin these two bins and I welded that plate in there and I ordered this piece off the line and um, I actually have another seat and uh, another seat and um, I'll show you another seat and backrest pad I bought it off of eBay it's a uh, leather it says real leather with sheepskin and um, I, I had to make a I made a backrest for it. A pelt there. I had to buy a pelt on eBay. I bought a pelt and I had to match the. Uh, and I took it off there because <laughs> I generally don't ride the bike in the rain, but sometime when it's rainy weather and I need the bike, I actually was purchasing that van right there. And I took the bike out and went and picked that van up. It was raining. And I didn't want to rain on my. Um, rain on my. Um, Leather and uh, this bike is dirty, but uh, anyway, I I hadn't cranked it this morning. It's cold, of course. I mean. It's cold nature too. and make it idle down. We've got the choke on. This thing, um, you can, it's got super oil pressure now. That pressure will go down to about 22 pounds at idle once it's hot. And then at about 3,300 RPM, it'll go to um, 60 pounds when it's hot. But this thing, watch us. Take it'll take the accelerator as fast as you turn it right now and um, when I had it apart I actually <laughs> chipped a piston I accidentally chipped a skirt off a piston so I I mic them down and cut all four pistons I cut the I cut the uh, I cut the damaged skirt off and uh, and then I um, I cut all the other three pistons to match it, and so I don't know if that's why it responds good. I, I don't know. Once it uh, gets hot, it 
just uh, you have to turn a little bit and then juice it, but it it runs good. Uh, to have that many miles, 165,552 miles. That's it. I put the old rings back in it. You believe that? I bought a new set, but they were not go wing rings. They were wheel fits. W i l l f i t. Wheel fit. And they, the old rings actually specced better, and they were nicer rings. The new ones were cast. The old ones are steel, I'm pretty sure. Steel with um, steel with the chrome finish on them, and them, and they uh, they still spec like six or eight thousandths uh, ring gap, and um, they were four millimeter. No, the old the new rings were. 2.8 millimeter deep and the o-rings are 3.2 millimeter deep so <laughs> the o-rings had more wear uh, had more wear uh, left on them than uh, than the uh, than the new rings and these carbs they you know these carbs got a hundred I'm trying to choke back on a little bit these cars have uh, 165,000 miles on them, so they're probably sucking air around the shafts and everything else. I do have a, uh, I do have a, um, oh, what do you call it? Let me show you. Cut the light on. Um, synchronization tool I made out of just some stuff I had laying around the shop. I started together. And there it is up there. I wonder if I can zoom in on that dude. Yep. That's what that is. And now, these are gold wing parts. Well, they're not gold wing. That's a Voyager saddlebag. But I've got another jammer and three sets of saddlebags, actually, and floorboards and more highway bars. And I've got another bike there. That bike there's got 67,000 miles on it. This is 82, but the engine is will interchange and um, a bad transmission in this thing. And, um, and but I've got uh, another transmission right there for it if I want to put it in there. And there's a bunch of parts here. And I've got I actually got the new head gaskets for that thing. Trunk there, anyways. Uh, another set of old makeshift pipes up there. Um, that's what I had. Oh, there's uh, uh, rear crash bars and saddlebags up there. I probably never use all this stuff. Anyway, I've been working on a bike for about five years, almost five years, and um, I like riding. I have a GL 1500, 96 model, and uh, <laughs> I like riding this better. So I sold the 96. Uh, it was a clean 96. And um, anyways, uh, that's about all I've got to say, I guess. Good day.